Hey y'all, so look, y'all already know I'm trying to find any and everywhere to record y'all, but I'm at my I'm at the park, right? I love it here. It feels amazing outside. I just don't have um I don't have anything to prop my phone up on. So hopefully it doesn't overheat because this iPhone has been tripping like literally and it's in the sun directly, you guys. So I'm gonna try to get this message out as quick as possible. How are y'all? Um man, let me tell you, energy is funky, right? However, we can get through this. <laughs> We can get through this community. So it's something that's happening here. Um, in your tribe is what I'm hearing. Okay. Something's happening here in your tribe. Whether it's in your family. Whether it's a relationship you have. And adjudication card comes in the reverse. So these don't normally read reverse. But you know. It's some decisions that have to be made that aren't made. And it's involving the people that you are connected to. Okay. So. Overall, let me see here and get one more message. Yep, coffin. So the coffin also flipped in a reverse position, but that's about endings. It's, it's literally some things that need to end and you could be delaying it, all right? It could be a pattern, a habit, a mindset, right? It could be, you know, releasing relationships and things like that. and. It's not happening. You could be delaying it, all right? But I'm going to get some messages and I'm going to see what's good here because I do understand when it comes to these endings, it hurts like hell. So what I feel like you are delaying um, is the pain, the grief, the sadness, right? So codependency, y'all, is literally, it's an addiction. And this is what it is that you're feeling. You're feeling, you literally, it's addiction. You are addicted, Okay. You are addicted to a certain cycle, a pattern, a habit, a mindset, people. And what is transpiring now and what the universe is really trying to get us to do is to release these things. We're praying and we're asking for more and we're trying to manifest so much more in our lives. But <clears throat> we're still holding on to the things that are blocking us from being able to receive it. Okay. Something's trying to stop me from talking. <coughs> I literally, y'all, cannot catch my breath. But however, right? Let me keep going. See if I got my inhaler in here. I don't have it. But however, right? With the nine of wands coming out in the upright position. It's a lot of adversity going on around you. And you're trying to stand tall and stand strong. And you're trying to be resilient. You're trying. But here with the Empress in reverse that just flew out. It's definitely is making you buckle a little bit okay you may be buckling just a little bit it's okay it's okay because you know how that is it, it gives us a chance to reflect right it gives us a chance to get ourselves back into alignment okay so remember who you truly are remember how powerful you are remember who you are five of swords upright comes out whatever this conflict is whatever the dispute is you know there's a resolution it always is it always is get yourself back into alignment i know it's not easy but go out and do something to ground yourself like i'm at the park the park grounds me okay so look four of wands in the reverse yeah it's a lot of upheaval that's going on right now and someone is just not supportive of what it is that you want for yourself at this present moment okay whatever it is that you value this person doesn't really support that right now and you're not feeling stable all right, so your stability and your security is probably feeling a little shook. You out of balance. You out of balance. Why? Because there's a lack of harmony here in your situation. Even with the communication, it's not good. Okay, it's too many uncertainties. And you're hoping things is going to change for the better, but it's not. Okay, five of pentacles and the reverse. What's happening is it's not it's not shifting you may even feel left out in the cold right now with this situation here but someone is juggling you okay two of pentacles upright they're juggling you and that's where the imbalance is coming from they they literally cannot make a decision and prioritize because they got too much on that they got too much on their plate and on top of that they got a lot of options so you already know. It's like you feel it. I got the high priestess upright. 
you feel like this is going to be um, a failed plan or whatever it is that your goals are. You feel like there's going to be obstacles here or delays. You just don't overanalyze it because your higher power is, is definitely going to support you and, and you're getting messages. You're getting tons of downloads. Some of them you've been blocking out, but however, it's time for you to listen to your intuition when it comes to this and trust what you know to be true because there's a lot of hidden motives. Show me what you I need to see. <clears throat> Look at that. Five of Swords and the Seven of Wands. And this is some weird funky shit, right? But it's like basically to me i see it both ways whatever the conflict is you want to be able to move on without being hindered from that okay there's a lot of competition adversity it's just too much going on in this situation here and it's not serving you you can't go into this next phase is what i'm hearing with all of this nonsense that's going on it's a lot that's what it is it's a bunch of nonsense it's a bunch of bullshit and it's pulling on your energy and it's also depleting you right now so you definitely want to be able look at that the community card comes out again why because these are your peoples like you really see them as your peoples but they've been they haven't been so honest okay or they haven't been treating you so fair definitely an unfair power dynamics here in this situation here and it's time for you to start choosing your own happiness. Mm -hmm. You've been expecting a whole lot to come from this person. Hoping that they would mature. Hoping that they would come in. Just sitting and you've been waiting for this person. This person watches you. Shit. They may be fucking old by the time they come in. <laughs> you ain't, oh, don't sit around and wait that goddamn long. <laughs> like no you don't wait on anyone no one okay that's not what you're called to do remember who you are that's all I keep hearing remember who you are okay now I gotta see something some cards fell on the side <clears throat> I don't even know why I would do that y'all that's some bullshit yeah but mm, remember who you are Okay, because great fortune is definitely coming to you, but mm -hmm, it's going to be a message. You may have already received this message or the message is coming and it's going to concern you. It's definitely going to probably take you back just a little bit. Shit, a little bit. I'm, I'm trying to make it. I'm trying to clean it up. This thing may take you back a lot. Okay, emotionally. But process whatever it is that you're feeling here because you're going to get through it. Look at that. High Priestess in the reverse. Tell me more about this reverse High Priestess. It's a lot of stuff that's going to come to the light that's hidden. And you've been rep you've been literally re repressing your intuition about this connection that you have with this person. <clears throat> you've been ho hoping for something to play out where it would be a solid and firm foundation where you guys could take it to the next stage where you guys can actually develop something out of this that's what you've been focusing on that's what you've been hoping for okay but a lot is going to be illuminated about this situation the truth is going to come out and it's going to be some hard truth all right but you got support seven of pentacles here in the upright you're waiting for your efforts to pay off Seven of Wands reverse. Okay. Don't give up. You may want to give up. And what I'm hearing is that you want to give up because you don't want to have to worry or be sad or depressed or angry anymore. You got goals. You want to be able to manifest your Ten of Pentacles, your Ten of Cups. You want all of that. Like you want love. You want relationships. You want your money to be good. You want all of that. But at this point, I feel like someone wants to literally just say, fuck relationships. Like, you don't even want to go through those hard lessons any longer. I feel like you're ready to just say, you know what? I'm just going to keep moving forward here to try to manifest my money, right? My goals. 
I don't want to invest into anybody any longer because I don't want to worry. But what Spirit is asking you to do is to heal completely. Because either way, even if you close yourself off from this, you can't be blocking your heart chakra to even manifest in any other area of your life, okay? When it comes to your money, when it comes to friendships. So face this, learn what you need to learn from this, heal from this situation here, and continue to move forward. Thank you, show me what I need to see. Anything else? Yeah, yep, four swords. This is your time to step back. Step back. Put that energy back into you. Rest. Okay? Withdraw your energy. And you may be getting ready to go on a vacation. If not, take one. Because you may need it. But however, it's time for you to take a break from this so that you can heal. Okay? So that's really what's up. That's, what's, that's what the energy is like for the collective, y'all. Um, across the board, for real. It's time for us to take a step back and really evaluate what is it that you really want? What is it that you really need? Okay? Because what you're experiencing now is not serving you it's not serving your purpose and you're not fulfilled you're dissatisfied it's almost like this feeling of you just accepting because you're waiting and you're expecting this person to to do something here maybe because you may feel like hey this is my person they may even try to come in and offer you something a gift or something here to try to bring you back in Tell me about the gift card. Yep, lovers came out. It shouldn't be in there, but it's in a reverse position. Yeah, because right now you guys are going through a disconnect. It's a um, lot of disharmony or conflict and stuff that's going on. Dang, it's all of these cards are mixed up in here, y'all. That's going on between y'all. Okay, so this is why they may come in and try to gift you with something look I, I guess we ain't supposed to know you know what I'm saying because the fucking cards just keep flying out my hand this is crazy tell me about the gift tell me about the gift here. it's some type of gift that's coming to you whether it's from the universe or whether yeah because your heart broken mm -hmm. look at that three of swords definitely a lot of third party energy here high priestess in the reverse and it's it was hidden this is hidden from you. That's what I just heard. Tell me about the high priestess in the reverse. Nine of wands up. Right. Because you're being shown or, or what the universe is trying to teach you is how to stay resilient. Okay. No matter what the adversity is. So this is being hidden from you. Thank you. Tell me about that. So that you won't be in a state of expecting. Thank you. You know, for sometimes when we know things, we start expecting it to happen. And when it doesn't happen, we get disappointed. And that's really what's just been happening. Like, we've been being given a whole bunch of information about what's happening in our next stages and steps, right? And phases of our lives. And this is what we were expecting because why this is what the, where the energy was at that moment for the collective. And then the energy just completely shift, right? And now it's like you may be feeling a whole heap of disappointment. You're worried. You could be, you know, overwhelmed or anxious. Okay. But however, it's being hidden from you because, um, yeah, spirit doesn't want you to be in that energy. But overall, you're going to receive some type of gift, some type of blessing that will come to you. And I got two of the same cards. Yeah, you're uncertain. You're right now, you're you're uncertain because you don't know which way to go. All right, I got the two of pentacles here in the reverse. But what I'm seeing is like, make a decision to actually really choose you at this time. To choose your happiness with the nine of cups. This is all that you're being asked to do. Choose your happiness. Don't focus on nobody else's. Don't focus on this situation don't focus on what's not working only thing you need to focus on is being happy that's a choice 1441 on my clock okay that's a choice you can either choose to be happy or you can choose to stay in this dysfunction or you can choose to dwell on it and how it didn't work out and what went, went wrong but i hey look 
I just posted earlier, like we got free will, right? But guess what? You're going to learn if you don't go in the right direction. If you don't choose to do it the divine's way, you're going to end up having consequences, period, because that's not the will for, that's not the divine's will for your life. Okay. So yeah, we got free will, but there's going to be consequences. You have to pay for your actions. Your karma comes back again and again and again and again. Right, especially when we make bad choices, especially when we're being dishonoring to God's people, period, right? And whatever choice you decide to do here, say if you decide, hey, I'm going to stay in this situation and I'm going to play it out and see what happens, it's going to end up leading to heartbreak. So what I'm hearing is that you need to stop the cycle now, end it, let it go, walk away so that you can end the toxic behaviors and patterns, all right, because there's not, they're not serving you. You don't want to take this in the next um, phase with you because what you want is to be able to take a path that's going to lead you to your happiness. Okay, so um, you heard me. I know you guys. Look, I'll be back. I will be back because I do feel like I need to be reading a little extra for the collective today over the next few days. Hopefully, um, you may see me in my car. <laughs> but however, don't mind how it look. Don't mind how I look because I know I'm looking rough and shit. But... I don't even have the energy to, to really even do nothing right now. All I got the energy to do is take my ass in this park and let my feet hit this grass to ground me and keep me level and, and functioning because I am absorbing so much of the collective's energy on top of my shit that I got going on too, right? So we in this together, boo. All right, I'm here with you. I'm sending my love and light to you guys. I'm definitely sending it back to me. I definitely appreciate, you know, you guys keep tuning in and, and allowing me to, to um, help lead you to the light, right? Back to the light. But however, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you get outside. It's beautiful here in Baltimore, Maryland. I don't know what it felt like where you at, but finally the sun has come out. Get outside. Don't eat yourself and stuff your face, okay? Because I know it's Memorial Weekend. <laughs> All right, watch your calories, okay? But however get outside get amongst your soul tribe connect with your friends i'm um, socialized do whatever you need to do to keep your vibes high peace <laughs>